We have new information tonight about that freak accident in Brooklyn that killed in a gruesome way the young operator of one of those remote-controlled model helicopters. It happened today in the Graves End section. I was reporter NJ Burkett tonight with more on the victim and how it exactly happened. NJ. And Bill, these choppers are not toys. They have two foot rotors that spin at speeds of up to 3,000 RPMs. Neighbors here tell me this was a father son hobby, which makes this freak accident all the more devastating. The young man's family returned home tonight and were met by neighbors with tears in their eyes. We are in shock because we are neighbors, we look out for each other, we love each other, we care for each other. Roman Perosic was 19 years old and an avid flyer of remote control helicopters. <laughs> Gas-powered turbine choppers with two foot long carbon fiber blades. Roman made a series of videos in this field in Gravesend, Brooklyn and posted them on YouTube. Police say it was here, while flying spectacular stunts like these, that Roman lost control of his helicopter and was struck in the head and killed. He was a member of a small group of remote control chopper pilots who told reporters tonight that it can be a risky hobby. We were all concerned about our own personal safety, but, um, you know, things happen. Things happen. It's just an unreal event that someone that young, that full of life, enjoying something is gone. Okay. Way Roberts assembles and repairs remote control helicopters and says Roman was clearly a talented pilot. The cause, he says, was most likely a mechanical malfunction. You've got something with the uh, whirling blades that uh, it's like knives and uh, you get hit with that, it's no joke. Roman's style of flying is known within hobbyists as 3D aerobatics. Injuries are not uncommon, I'm told, but deaths are extremely rare. Roman is believed to be only the second person in the United States to lose his life while flying a remote control helicopter. Live tonight in Queens, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News.